As a little girl, I dreamed of falling in love and raising a family. I was a healthy and strong young woman. And suddenly, stairs were like mountains. I was having trouble holding my three-year-old nephew in my arms. And the neurologist turned to me and said, in two to five years, you will lose the ability to walk, to talk, to swallow, to breathe. You will die. I asked the neurologist, why? If we could transplant hearts and lungs, couldn't we also replace damaged motor neurons? I was told that nothing could be done for me. I was, excuse me, I don't find that acceptable. Her response was to start an organization that has literally made historic breakthroughs. We're beginning to understand why motor neurons die in ALS. We've made phenomenal strides. No organization has a better track record for groundbreaking ALS research. She has rallied the most amazing soldiers to stand behind her in this fight. She's an old friend, a dear friend. We all started asking questions. We're gonna leave tonight until some cash is coughed up and I mean it. Greg, you are so rich, come on! We raised $800,000. Close to $1.5 million. $17 million. $32 million. I wasn't gonna go down without a fight. You have a choice how to face your life, to face it with courage, with dignity, with a sense of humor. Let's cure this disease, and I'm going to do it from my bed. Now I sit before you, unable to breathe freely. But my mind is fine, and it is alert. And I am still dreaming. Jennifer Estes died from complications of a neurological disease called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. Jennifer devoted the last six years of her life to wiping out ALS. In one decade, Project ALS has created a new paradigm for disease research. For the first time, scientific researchers were required to work together in teams to find a cure. Project ALS has helped us put together the largest, most comprehensive study ever of ALS genetics. The results have been extraordinary. Researchers from Harvard, Columbia, the Salk Institute, Johns Hopkins, and Memorial Sloan Kettering, many who had not thought about ALS or even met before, have now come together to work as one, sharing goals, data, and a strong sense of urgency. We know the goal. We want to get a cure for ALS. How do we get there? high throughput screening of thousands of drugs. Project ALS has led the effort to find new ways of discovering drugs that might be effective in ALS. The opening last year of the Jennifer Esther Stem Cell Facility has really made it possible to explore basic applications of motor neuron biology in the context of the generation of human motor neurons in a disease-specific context. This is a really remarkable achievement. Jennifer asked her doctor if we could transplant motor neurons, the cells that die in ALS. He told her that stem cell transplants were science fiction. Ten years later, Jennifer's science fiction fantasy has become scientific fact. I'm not sitting here thinking that this is going to save one life. I think this is going to change medicine.